Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about the new cinema for the release R26 and the new tools. The model you see in the viewport was modeled entirely with the new modeling tools. So I can say that I spent quite some time with them and I should say that the new tools are kind of game changers. I mean, it is like an entirely new software, especially with the zero measure, which you may be familiar from ZBrush. So let's jump into these new tools and see what we can do with them. Let's start with the zero measure. I believe it is the most important one. I will give you some examples and let's start from this piece. Let me select this and solo them. Turn off shading mode. I will turn off all of these and we have this base object. It is really simple. We have really a low mesh, a few polygons, but then I added a cube and add a boolean to get that small detail, then a connect object, after that I use the mesh generator. In the settings we have zero measure, as you can see if I turn it on and off, you can see that it creates entirely a new mesh based on the hard edges of my shape. After the Zero measure, I added a chamfer which selects the sharp edges and bevels them. Then I added a subdivide knot. Now, this is what we get. But in reality, let me duplicate that. This is what we have. But with the help of the zero measure, we can get this high level of details with a single click. I mean, if you want to get these details with a great topology, you need to, let's say, spend to 15 minutes on this one but with the new remeasure it takes maybe one minute or not so this is one of the great examples but can you do with zero measure with booleans in this example let's use this part i will solo it basically i combine two objects with boolean as you can see though the result is not very good in terms of topology we cannot use that but i'm gonna use Zero measure again. Before doing that though, I want to mention another new improved tool called Close Polygon Hole tool. For example, I made a mistake over here. I have a leftover from the boolean. Let me first select this and delete this. Then I will right click Close Polygon Hole tool and I will select Grid mode and click on here. It's gonna perfectly fill that hole for us and the result is flawless it did a perfect job now let's go back to the zero measure again i will select my object press alt uh, remesh generator in zero measure mode and immediately we get a really good result but i want to add one more thing i will enable symmetric x now this is going to give me more accurate results. If you check the object, the topology is flawless, which is perfect. It's going to save us a great deal of time. Now let's do something more. I will look for knots. Let's, uh, I will look for chamfer and put it under my uh, ACV group not under the remesh. I will change my type to edges and lower the size. This is gonna act like a kind of uh, sporting edge. Then I will look for soft white and put it under the chamfer. I will change its mode to, uh, I, sorry, I will change. I will enable smooth mode and increase the iterations to two and this is the result it is looking absolutely fantastic if we got something over here let me turn up soft white and check the wireframes yes uh, i will go back to chamfer and play with this angle to deselect this like so let's push it more and try to add more details i will turn off this for the moment and I will add a cylinder, change the orientation 
and I'm gonna put it over here. Something like that. Then I will go to that object, press Alt, add a bool generator, then put my cylinder under that. Now I will re enable the mesh, but before doing that, I will enable create single object in the all options and re enable the mesh. And as you can see, it did a great job again. If I enable this, I should get a perfect result. Maybe we have we need to clean this triangle. It is easy. Go to chamfer and change your melting to uniform. Re enable this, and it is looking perfect. But no, I will push it more. Let's turn off these again. This time I will add a cube. It's not gonna make sense, but let's push it more. I will make it to build. Maybe we can level that edge to something like that. Then I want to basically combine this boolean with that cube. So I'll select the bool. Again, another bool. This time though, I will change its type to union, and I will create a single object and put, put the cube under the new bool. So these are a single object right now. Now let's see what we are gonna get if I enable remesh, enable that. Uh, by the way, I forgot to enable this boolean, enable this as well to subtract it. And everything is looking great. Enable chamfer subdivision surface and check the mesh again this is looking perfect considering the time we spent on this if i wanted to model this in traditional ways it would take i don't know maybe an hour to get this one but now it takes minutes maybe seconds now let's talk about the new bridge tool as you can see i have a big hole right here and I'm gonna close that hole with the new bridge tool. Right click, select bridge. I will enable patch mode. I will select this edge, then hold down shift, select this as well, then connect the edges like so. And it's gonna make a great job to fill in between the edges. Same here, select edge, hold down shift, select the other one and connect them. Hold down shift, select, connect, same here. Uh, this time we need to be more careful because we have a small detail over here. But the same thing again, select the edges you want to connect and connect the edges. Same here, then we can select this. Connect. I can select these two. Connect again this time. I should select this. And connect maybe a slight slide on this point. As you can see, we got a really good result considering the damage we had. I mean, it was nearly impossible with the previous tools. If I Enable start division surface. You can see that the surface is perfectly smooth, no pinching, no distortion at all. Another big new tool, it's called Bit Circle. First, select the object and I will select the polygons where I want to put my circle in. Let's say these are looking good. Then or kind of a pro protection, I will make an inset and right click, select with circle. And that's all. There is also a, an option in the settings, project the surface. So your circle will be projected on your existing mesh.
which means that your surface will continue to stay in a perfect perfect state i mean it's gonna be perfectly smooth no pinching no distortion at all now we can and insert and push this back another inset and an extrude we can scale them also let's say that you don't like the topology of these selected polygons we can delete them right click close polygon hall and select the grid polygon type and close the hole now you will get a perfect surface now let's get some sporting edges like here and here and here we have subdivision surface and this is looking fantastic all these holes created with the same technique let's say that you want to make a hole right here select this make an inset right click fit circle you can also change the angle of the circle like so i'm gonna scale it slightly then i'm gonna make an inset push it back at sporting edges press q and this is looking awesome let's make another one over here inset fit circle then and inset push it like that sporting edges and here you go now let's check the bridge tool more in this time i will literally use it for bridging first let me hide this one and hide this one i have the exact same shape on two sides i will switch to polygon mods select these polygons right click and select bridge and connect these two points now we have an option for tension i will higher this up to something like that the mode is in normal mode so the scale of this new part is slightly larger than the starting point to fix that we can change normal average another thing we can do is to add bridges between the polygons i mean if i dissolve this and in polygon mode i will select bridge one more time click on the first polygon and move your mouse to the last polygon it's gonna create another bridge i believe you will need more tension on this one like so you can do this on here as well actually i got these cables with the same technique if i go to the object i just selected the bridge tool and connect these random polygons like so of course the tension was lower than that like you can connect these and give more tension i don't know if the possibilities are infinite just like that now let's check the new equal spacing tool as you can see these edges are spaced unevenly to fix that i'm gonna select them all right click and select equal spacing and click on this this is gonna fix them right away again this is another great tool now let's check the new flatten tool first i'm gonna select these edges right click select flatten and i'm gonna give 100 percent strength right now it's not gonna do anything because i need to change it to modeling axis 
and I'm going to set it to Y. Now it worked perfectly. This time, let's select these. These are perfectly flat on the Y. So I will select flat one more time, but this time I'm going to change my axis to X and hit apply. Perfect. If you look at the polygons, they are not perfectly flat. I can switch to polygon mode, select them all, select flatten, and we are facing X, so I will hit apply while the X is selected. Perfect. Alright guys, that is it from me. I hope that I could give you a glimpse of what you can do with the new Cinema 4D tools. I have skipped some of them. I try to explain the most important ones, but of course in the next tutorials. The other ones are waiting to be explored. I will try to use them as much as possible in the next tutorials. But for now, I believe this is it. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you in the next tutorials. Bye.